learning to listen to the voice of God, learning to hear his voice and have confidence that you're hearing his voice and not some other source is one of the most beautiful and sometimes one of the most awkward parts of our spiritual life. But let's start with this. Name one thing in life that you enjoy doing now that you didn't have to learn. I mean, playing an instrument or loving a man or a woman, parenting, driving a car. I mean, everything in life requires some level of sort of growing in it, learning how to do it. And that'll help us in learning to listen to the voice of God because you don't get it all at once. Nobody does. And so don't get frustrated with that. How do we learn to listen to the voice of God? The first thing I can tell you with absolute assurance is even after years of learning to listen for myself and walking with God, I can't hear under crisis, stress, and paranoia. You know, in other words, you don't start with double black diamonds when you're learning to ski. You don't start with the hard and the urgent questions when you're trying to learn to listen to the voice of God, okay? Start with small questions. It's almost like you're doing your scales, right? Or, or you know, learning your swing. You start with small and simple things so that there isn't all this emotional stress around it, you know, and you're not trying so hard to hear something that you can't hear at all. It's, it's like trying to get a good night's sleep. If you lie down and tell yourself, I have got to get a good night's sleep tonight, you know, what's going to happen? You're not going to sleep. Okay. Start with small questions and try and, and don't begin with the really emotional stuff. You know, should I marry Ted? Should I sell the family business? You know, do I have cancer? Start with small things. Quiet yourself. You have to quiet yourself. The noise of the world and all of that buzzing and that chatter and the distraction always gets in the way for me. Sometimes I literally have to go into another room and just get quiet for a moment and just say, Father, speak to me. I'm going to quiet down. I'm going to silence all of the chatter and I just want to hear your voice. What are you saying, Lord? And now the most beautiful part and that's surrender. You see, we come to God because we need counsel or we need comfort or we need direction. We come to God because we want to hear his voice. But what we come away with is learning to surrender because it's only when I'm yielded that I can hear the voice of God. In other words, if God can't say no, then I'm not open to hearing what he has to say. If I can only hear, you know, yes, you can buy the motorcycle or yes, I want you to, you know, meet with Ted or whatever that is. I have to be in a posture where I'm willing to hear whatever it is God wants to say. I have to be in a posture of surrender. And so as I'm kind of settling myself down, quieting the noise, and I'm surrendering inside. And with whatever the question is, I'm really yielding. Lord, I can hear yes or no. I trust you. I know you're good. I just, I yield this to you. Now, I'll just sit quietly surrendering my heart, surrendering my will, and I'll kind of repeat the question in my own heart to myself. Lord, you know, uh, do you want us to take this trip this weekend? And then I'll pause and I'll listen. And then I'll ask the question again. Lord, what are you saying about this weekend? I'm kind of dialing in. I'm sort of looking for the frequency almost on the radio, you know, sort of bringing myself in alignment with God, surrendering, letting go of the drama. I'm dialing in and I'm saying, Lord, just repeating the question. What do you want to say to me? Now, if I can't hear the voice of God right away, sometimes what I'll do is I'll try on one answer and then another you know, I'll say, is it yes, Lord? Are you, are you saying yes to us on this? And I'll kind of sit with that because a lot of times the Spirit of God will sort of confirm things in your own spirit before you're able to, you know, articulate it into words or hear direct sentences. You could, you're looking for sort of a confirmation. I'll try on the answer one way or another, just sort of looking for a sense of what God's up to. I'm not trying to fill in the blanks, by the way. I'm not trying to create the answer of God. Because the fact of the matter is this. If I don't hear from God right now on this, that's okay. I'm learning. I'm growing. I don't know why I can't hear right now. It doesn't mean our relationship is in crisis or that I'm not walking with God. I'll just set it down and, and maybe come back to it later. There's no pressure in learning to hear the voice of God. 
It's a life really of just learning surrender and trust, learning to quiet ourselves and learning to kind of dial into what the Spirit of God in us is bringing to us from God.